welcome to another episode of Cooking with Heavy Metal. Today we're doing very popular lamb shanks. I have to be honest, they're not one of my most favourite dishes, but everybody else in my family, they love lamb shanks. So today we're doing what well, some call it the humble lamb shanks, but I know lamb shanks are very popular amongst camp oven cooks. So our ingredients we have, some celery, garlic, onion, carrot, tomatoes which is on top of tomato paste as well they're diced up tomatoes some stock red wine salt and pepper we've got four lovely fresh lamb shanks home kill here we will roll them in some flour and salt and pepper in with that flour and then sear these all first uh, probably the most common thing with lamb shanks is the cooking time it's sort of th uh, around that three hour average or plus um, that's what kind of makes them if you've got them there's alterations with the ingredients. Some people use port along with red wine as well. Uh, but just on that low, slow cooking is where all the uh, flavour and the action happens in the camp ovens. So now we've had this preheating. This is a 12 inch camp oven today, 12 inch Bilgman's oven we're using. We're just about finished searing these off and then we'll add all our other ingredients, take these out, add everything else in, bring that to the boil and then we'll put the shanks back in. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share and add. If you uh, are getting ads on your channel at the moment, sorry about that, there's nothing we can do about that. We're not getting paid, you've got to be pretty big before you get paid. But YouTube have a right to put ads on your channel apparently even when you're not getting paid so that's just something you have to put up with if ads are popping up we're hearing on our some of our videos nice big homegrown lamb shanks these ones there's our crushed up garlic, celery, carrots, and we're going to add ours to a mashed potato but some people will add potatoes in with theirs as well if they're just doing a one pot. We've got a few camp ovens here so we can use another one just for the potato. We have two cups of stock here. And that'll probably be the, that might change. We might add more. Uh, we'll see how we go, whether we need to add some more stock. See some good heat coming off them on my jeans. We're blessed with some good brigalow timber here at the moment where we're staying. Now put them veggies in there first to absorb a bit of that heat so I'm not pouring this cold stock uh, straight into a hot oven. We don't want to do any damage to our nice oven. Hold on hot. Might add a little bit more stock. We'll bring that to the boil now, then put our lamb shanks in and then simmer it away for three hours. The all important ingredient for lamb shanks, the red wine. There was a cup of red wine that went in there. Remember we're only doing four lamb shanks. That'll feed two comfortably.
been on for three hours. Just stoked it up here at the end. A couple of them are already wanting to fall off the bone. We'll take it over to the table and dish her up. Potato here that we just cooked over the fire. That is our Lee Home Lamb Shanks for today. Happy cooking. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and uh, get out there and get your camp ovens hot. <laughs>